couch. There's a mouse on my couch. And there's kitties everywhere. They don't care. So this is gonna end terribly. Oh shit. Kuna, what are you doing? Does the bunny hop to the I hop? It wasn't funny the first five times either. Are, are you happy? You go hop. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> it, it's a uh, bacon uh, and eggs Benedict with bacon. I don't know. <laughs> you know how I keep saying we should cosplay? Where is it? Maybe I left it in the car. Did you see a pair of bongos in the car? Yeah, I was confused. I was like, why are there bongos? Remember the beatneck couple? Oh my god. I thought we could cosplay them. I mean, I mean, what bongos? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. There were no bongos. Oh, fuck! <laughs> So this whole week we've been kind of getting ready behind the scenes for our friend Simone and Matt's wedding at Simone to go get her fingernails and toenails done. And we had a little girl spa night uh, the night before her rehearsal. Um, but I really appreciate her coming out with me and it was fun just to have some girl time. Are you excited? A little bit. It's, it's, I'm still getting used to the nails yet. <laughs> I'm worried they're, they're not even that long. I'm worried they're gonna chew off. No. I'm not used to them. Like, I'm afraid that I'm gonna go to bed and they're gonna go. <laughs> what? What's wrong? She just keeps meowing at me. Hi, Kenna. Hi. So, it's Friday and Friday! I'm actually just got into the hotel by myself and I don't know. Fox booked it. <laughs> and then he messaged me, um, I guess the groomsmen did not secure enough beds for everybody, so I'm like, are you coming over here then? I don't know, but I'm perfectly happy being by myself for anything. I brought my laptop and I was just gonna play The Sims and hang out, and then set up my dress and relax for the night, and I guess the wedding's not until two tomorrow. My first solo adventure, I think. I mean, there was one time I took an air, well, okay, so I took a plane to go meet Fox in San Francisco, but I'm literally supposed to be by myself for the night, so it's kind of nice, but we'll see. Bye. Well, it's Saturday morning, and I'm going to go walk around the thrift store. Let's see what's fun. I don't even want the world to be stuff, I just want the Ray, I was trying to figure out what to do for your birthday, and I found this for I'm not even sure what's in here, man, but if anybody could help me figure it out, it would be you, girl. Happy birthday. So, it's been a fun morning. I spent the morning thrifting. I threw down a blanket that we've just been kind of calling the car blanket anyway, and this is what I got at the first store. So, I keep hoarding jewelry in my purse and I found this like jewelry case and I think it was just $1.99. I don't think they even charge me full price on everything so yeah. Like yeah, just put the tickets there. But I like it because it's pretty sturdy and I figure it would be cute for whatever. So I got that and I tried to call around this town of Sheboygan to see if Somebody else could care my hair out because I didn't bring a curling iron and I don't really want to curl my hair. But in case I do, I don't know. I, I found a curling iron that works and I'm just, I have disinfectant wipes so I figured I just wipe it down because that's what they do at the salon and it works well enough. And I paid $1.50 for this. And Fox keeps losing his sunglasses. So when I was at the thrift store, I just saw like, cheap sunnies that I figured he'd be happy with so I grabbed those for him I don't know I'll, I'll cut the tags later 
I figured he'd be happy to have sunnies, but right now he, he can't find the sunnies, but he's rocking like movie theater ones. I'm like, honey, you can't, you really, no. And every time I try to get him nice ones, he's like, no, you're gonna, I'm gonna lose them. I don't want them. Um, speaking of jewelry, I got some gold hoops. I, they're very similar to like the costumey ones I got at, were at Windy City. I always like having gold hoops in the car and just basic hoops. So yeah, figured it would replace the one I lost. This I probably shouldn't have got, but I just thought it was cute. So I collect like milk glass with blue etching on it. And this one just says Washington DC. And I know Fox is going with his nephews next year and this is 99 cents. So I'll remove the sticker later. This I got as a gag gift. I'm gonna wipe it down. It just says just married. I'm actually going to a wedding today. We got them a really, really nice gift too, but I always like getting couples like cheesy little things I find. <laughs> Cause I don't know, like you, you want cheesy stuff in your house to celebrate the special days. Um, but yeah, originally I was messing with the bride. I showed her like this really tacky pillow and like a cake topper. But I figured it just says just married and it's really cute, so I don't know. And if they don't like it, they can totally just re-thrift it. Or I encourage you, like if you were good stuff like this, what was the thing we got for our wedding? We got like, I swear to God, I had a friend tell me, we got this as our wedding. We didn't know what to do with it. So we're giving it to you. Please give it to somebody else. And I think we did. And I think that it was like a kitschy weird little thing like this. And I just thought it was funny. So. Simone and Matt, if you get this and you're like, what the frick, Crystal? This is my permission for you to give this to some other couple when you don't know what to get them either. Because it is just cute. And if you like it, keep it for yourselves too. It was a few bucks, but I just thought it was cute. <laughs> so my experience going to weddings, and my aunt taught me this, my Aunt Karen. So she like always tells me to go to the thrift store or to the dollar store and get bands, especially when you don't know what kind of conditions you're going to in a wedding. I think this is going to be in a barn. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it'll be air conditioned or whatever, but normally I just shove this in my purse or something. And then if you get hot, you have one. And I guarantee you, everybody at your table is going to be like, where'd you get that? <laughs> they had a bunch of them there. I was so tempted to just pick up a handful of them, but I'm like, no, I don't want to be that kitschy. So, watch out. But it'll be my summer little fun band. Um, these are the earrings I think I might actually wear to the wedding. They're just cute. They look like little seashells and they match my dress and I thought it was cute. <laughs> um, okay, a lot of this stuff, these are just grab bags. I seriously think I'm just gonna get rid of everything in them. I don't even know what's in them. So let's find out together. There actually is a Twilight doll. I have no idea what this is. I, I mean, I know it's a Twilight doll, but I have no idea what generation or any information about this doll, whatever. Some of the stuff I'm just seriously, like, I think this is just a Cinderella finger puppet. If I don't want it, I'm just gonna keep Pokemon, we might want that. I don't know. Oh, I wonder if these go to Fluttershy. They should go to Fluttershy, they're cute. No, okay. So the whole reason why I bought this grab bag is I saw there was a Fluttershy in it. And the whole bag was 99 cents. I wish this was for Fluttershy. It seems like it should be, but maybe not. I don't know. Then it comes with a Barbie brush, another foam, and a creepy little alien. What is this? This says it's from My Little Pony. I've never seen this before. I know it's like the manticore, but it literally says My Little Pony on it. Originally, I was just gonna get rid of all this stuff, but this is actually a My Little Pony thing. So, cool. So, 
I guess I got three pony things and a Pokemon, but things I don't really care about are the creepy little alien. It doesn't say anything. I'll probably redonate some of this stuff because I have no interest in it. So this stuff, trash or donate again. And then I found another one, which was the first one I found and I got really excited because the first thing I saw was this little dashi. <laughs> so cute. So I have a little Fluttershy and dashi. I've never seen that style of pony before, but I thought they were cool. Um, stuff I'm disregarding, a little brush, a little Elsa figurine. A little mushroom. I'm almost tempted to give this to Simone, but whatever. A hammer. A hammer with eyes? What? I don't know if it's supposed to talk. Well, it's going back. A creepy little doll. I don't know who this is. Her feet are all twisted, though. Maybe some Barbie? I'm not really sure who that is. Oh, and the evil guy in Frozen. No wonder why they stuck it with the Elsa. And then some little sunglasses that don't go with anything. And a blood pressure cuff. This is literally getting redonated. Well, another little hairbrush, but. So there's some pony stuff that I thought that was cool. And then there's one more thing, but this is for my friend's birthday surprise, but I will give you a little hint. So I'm probably gonna do an unboxing of this on Monday for my friend Ray LPS. It's literally all my little pet shop stuff. Like, there's even a little sign, my little pet shop stuff. I have no idea what's in this bag. This whole bag was $14, but I think I must have got it for half off because it was blue dot. So that means I got this for six, maybe seven. I don't know, we'll see. But thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys. advice that I can have for the bride and groom is what? live the spectacular life you deserve. That's all I can ask. Don't fight, and if you fight, always make up before going to bed. Uh, I don't know. You gotta think some more. I was gonna say like... I don't know, I've given you like three days to answer this question. Yeah, it's a tough one. How about, uh... From another mystery, Mickey. So I've been recording a lot of people's advice for the bride and groom, and this is my advice for Matt and Simone. I think that you need to remember at the end of the day, you have your biggest ally in your corner. You need to love and support and honor that person no matter what. And sometimes things will get hard, and you will be frustrated with that person. <laughs> But my best advice is to just love and support and honor them and bring them extra water. Congratulations, too. Thank you.
Whatever she says, do it. Are, are you guys sending Matt to the moon or what? <laughs> so he's having the bridesmaids send him off? Or you <laughs> We've already been doing everything. <laughs> oh my god. Finally. Once again, Fox and I want to congratulate our dear friends Matt and Simone on their new marriage, and we really appreciate the fun we had today with them. So thank you for sharing all your special moments, and to a happy new marriage. Love you guys. So, it's like almost 9 o'clock. We just got back to our hotel room. There was a bonfire for a little bit. He was running around in his first day, the last I saw of him, but like... It was an overall a very beautiful wedding and very beautiful setting and I'm so grateful for Matt and Simone and I hope they have a beautiful night together, an amazing cruise. I'm so jealous. I hope they vlog. <laughs> What's that? Hey. See you, Sherry. We've done breakfast. Bye. Come on, Beautiful. Boy, rough jumps are It's like, that is some chandelier, man. <laughs> Beautiful. This was very random, but I think we did good. These babies are being very good, and so Scoots, and then there's Shiny, who doesn't want anything to do with me or her food, she hates me, she hates the horse I rode in on, she has strong words about the whole situation. I still love you, Shiny. God damn it, your food's right there! Shiny! My gosh. Well, I'll speak of the devil. Okay, bye, kitties. Your mom and dad will be home very soon, okay? I promise. I will see you later, and I love you all. Is it open? Renee is the best cat sitter, so of course we had to stop at the chocolate shop and get her chocolate. <laughs> and we appreciate everything she does for our kitties. So we just got back home from the wedding and the kitties have all come and reported to us their woes. Right? Shiny, are you okay now? She's like, oh. You got reports? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Hi. Renee fed you this morning. Why are you lying? Oh, yeah, I saw you stealing skinless food. Mmm, naughty. You know all about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is it because we smell like dog? And, and there's a power outage. Oh, is there a power outage right now? There was. Everything came oh. out, but the clock needed to be reset. So, hooray. Fun times. Hi. Uh -huh. How are you? Oh, here's a pretty princess. Yeah. Shh, why'd you stop? Yeah, you like mommy's nails. Day one. No <laughs> rainbows pizza party. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna go horribly. Yay, we go to the garage. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. I was at a birthday party. It was fun. No, pizza there was a pizza party and you made me leave it. When was there a pizza party? Online. We were playing games and playing with toys. It was great. Oh. Don't say anything inappropriate. No rainbows pizza party. You didn't even get me the fans. <laughs> it's not even that hot. It's a nice day to start. Oh yeah, your shoes untied. Oh, that shoes coming off anyway. You really think we're gonna do this for ninety days? Consecutively, like. <laughs> yes, we will let the internet oh. think it's consecutively. I'm recording oh, five, and then we'll do consecutively. Because there's gonna be days where we're traveling. But yes, ninety days. That may or may not be consecutively. We'll get to the end. It'll probably take us like you know. A hundred and twenty. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say like a hundred and five. Why 105? Oh, that gives us an extra 15 of the... Okay. <laughs> that seems reasonable. Okay. Like if you do more than two weeks... So if we fun. try to do at least five of these videos a week... Welcome to our dungeon! Also known as our garage. Look, I have Kuna's chair now. So Kuna, are you my guest today? Did you see all the craziness on the YouTubes? Hey, 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 Funa. Down. Naughty kitty. This is Kuna's talk show. He's not allowed on the table. I don't know, he looks pretty comfortable. If you're enjoying this vlog, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.